Hello everyone, this is Tricky and welcome back to another video. A quick thank you for everyone who helped me with my computer problems. I am currently still on my laptop, but we'll be getting that new computer and then we'll be doing a 24 hour stream and a charity stream for the hurricane victims. The link will be down in the description, so be sure to follow me on Twitch and I'll let you guys know on here whenever that begins. Anyways, if you haven't seen the first creepy mythology video, be sure to check that out. There's a lot of Pokemon based off of mythology and most of you already know that there's a few of them that are based off of some really strange stories from different histories all around the world. For an example, Dunsparce is actually based off of the Suchinoko, which is a venomous fat looking snake thing, and it's kind of like the Bigfoot or the Chupacabra of Japan. It looks pretty silly, but it could probably kill you in an instant if you were bitten. We are going to be covering 10 more Pokemon based off of these fun little myths, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we have Drowsy and Hypno. Yes, these are two Pokemon, but they're evolution, so I'm pairing them together. In the Pokemon community, we have already seen creepypastas about Hypno and how it could lure children away for many mysterious reasons. In the actual canon, these Pokemon can be highly dangerous, but these creatures are based off of a very dangerous creature as well. They are based off of the Baku, which is a supernatural creature that can eat dreams. Of course, Dream Eater has been incorporated into the Pokemon games, and those other than Drowsy and Hypno can learn it. But what would that actually be like? Though these creatures could be very dangerous, from the actual folklore, Bakus were often revered and seen as something that fought against evil. They could eat away nightmares and allow people to have a very peaceful sleep. Children would chant, Baku, come eat my dreams in the middle of the night if they were scared that a nightmare would occur. Anyway, you have to be very careful when summoning the Baku. If you summon the Baku too much or if it happens to be a little bit too hungry, along with your nightmares, it will eat your hopes and your dreams. So you would basically be a person with no emotions, but that's kind of like a normal thing nowadays anyway. I personally love dreams though. Tell me your dreams in the comment section below. I would love to see them. So let's go ahead and get another common Pokemon out the way, and I'm pretty sure that most of you know this one by now. Next, we have Ninetales, based off of the Ninetailed Spirit Fox. I wonder who would have guessed. Well, the Spirit, okay, the Ninetailed. This myth came from Chinese mythology, but was eventually adopted by Japanese and Indian mythology. I'm sure that most of you have seen this in other media other than Pokemon, such as the Ninetailed Fox in Naruto, a boss in the game Okami, Ari from League of legends, and many other demons in anime, books, and TV shows. This is a very popular myth, so I'll tell you a couple stories. Spirit foxes gain their tails through power and wisdom, and if you happen to see a nine-tailed fox, it usually means that it has reached its peak of power. After 1,000 years of age, its fur will turn white or gold, and it will be allowed to enter the heavens. There's a lot of stories where these creatures are respected, but there's also the evil ones as well, and that's what this video is mostly about. While most of the spirit foxes are known to be tricksters, there's a few myths where the foxes have the ability to turn into a beautiful female to lure in men and leave them to their death. They eventually eat their heart and their liver. There's another Chinese myth about a very bloodthirsty demon. There was a Chinese girl named Da Ji that was murdered by a nine-tailed fox and her body was taken over by it. The new Da Ji was obsessed with torturing her victims. Her most popular way of torture was absolutely gruesome. A cylinder was completely covered with oil and it was heated with charcoal until it was extremely hot. So if you touched it, your finger would probably burn off and hurt really bad. The victims were forced to walk on it as it was slowly heating up and they would have to hop and dance around just so they could avoid their feet being burnt away. Since the surface was very oily, it was very hard for them to keep balance and if they happened to fall, they would land on the charcoals and burn alive. She would watch the entire thing laughing and clapping until all of them died. She was kind of a bad word. Kind of freaky. Moving on, we have Bronzong. Bronzong is based off of the Dotaku Japanese bell that was used for prayer. While the bell was not evil, the story that revolves around it is a little dark. 900 years ago, a few priests wanted to forge a giant bell for their temple. They convinced all of the local women to donate their bronze mirror so they could melt them down in order to create the bell. But then there was this one chick that was really attached to her mirror and she regretted giving it away, so she got mad. They were not able to melt down the mirror because of this connection. And after after a failed attempt to get it back, the woman killed herself by drowning in a nearby river. Once she committed suicide, the mirror finally melted so they could continue to create the bell. Before she died, she said whoever could break the bell would be given riches by her ghost. Naturally, people began to break the bell so they would be visited by her ghost so they could get rich. Of course, no one actually succeeded. It just made a lot of noise. The priest got super sick of people ringing the bell every second so they had it rolled into a swamp so they could get back to sleep. So Bronzong is basically based off of a haunted bell. 
Our next Pokemon is Whiskash, which is based off of the Namazoo. Namazoo literally means catfish in Japanese, and this specific one was a giant catfish that causes earthquakes. A Japanese god by the name of Kashima guards Namazoo, but every time he got tired or distracted, Namazoo started another earthquake. So Kashima was really bad at his job. Whiskash is originally named Namazoon, and there is also a Pokemon anime episode with Whiskash that was banned because it was scheduled to air a little bit too soon after an earthquake. The wrongdoings of Namazoo were considered to be punishment of human greed. There's also a story where Namazoo sacrifices itself by stabbing itself in the stomach, and its guts are basically riches, so that's wonderful. It gave the people protection from earthquakes and riches for 10,000 years. The myth became very popular after the 1855 Edo earthquake occurred, and it was one of the largest natural disasters in Japan, killing over 10,000 people. These Pokemon got some dark backstories, dude. Moving on, we have Absol, who is based off of a number of things. Its design is reminiscent of the Greek Sphinx, and Mega Absol having wings definitely points to that origin as well. The Greek portrayal of the Sphinx was sent down by the gods to plague a town as punishment for the many crimes they committed. The Sphinx would devour the children and the adults who could not solve her riddle. I would definitely die, because I'm trash at riddles and puzzles. I'll get wrecked. Absol is known as the disaster Pokemon and usually appears right before a tragedy happens. It is the Pokemon equivalent of the black cat superstition. Its tail kind of looks like a scythe, which is the main weapon that the Grim Reaper possesses, and it could also symbolize death, disaster, and destiny. The main myth that Absol is based off of is the Bai Zi from Chinese mythology. I cannot pronounce things, so don't yell at me, please. It's either Bai Zi or Bai Zi or whatever. The Bai Zi is a highly intelligent beast that understands human speech and has the knowledge to tell you everything about 11,520 different supernatural creatures. In the Japanese legend, a similar creature was described to predict a deadly plague that came to prey on the people for many years. Absol being able to predict disasters is very similar to this. Many pictures of this creature has white fur, horns, and a third eye, and it's really, really similar to Absol's design, for obvious reasons. Next, we have Lombre, which is based off of the Kappa from Japanese mythology. This is a humanoid water creature which is about the size of a child and is usually green or yellow in color. They live in or around ponds, lakes, or rivers since they require water to survive. They also love cucumbers. Yes. They have a place on their head where they keep water, which is the source of its power. If it ever dried out, they would lose their power or die. These little creatures could be really bad news, though. They were troublemakers, but sometimes the legends had a lot more dark stories, like usual. Kappas are said to lure people and animals close to the water and eventually drown them. They also feast on the flesh and entrails of its victims. If they are caught in the act, sometimes they may apologize if you ask it to. How nice of them! Can you apologize for drowning my son? Yeah, I'm sure. I didn't mean to. Just punch it in the face or something, god dang it. Despite their twisted ways, they are obsessed with being polite, so if you bow to it, they usually bow back. If it accidentally spills the water on its head, you could refill it and have a loyal servant for life, or you could use that opportunity to kill it like a smart person. They also like women and tend to do really bad things that I really don't want to talk about in this video. Ombre, you're really bad. You're awful. Moving on, we have Spiritomb, which is based on a Buddhist tradition that takes place on New Year's Eve in Japan. A bell is rung 108 times to chase away evil and temptation so they could reach the purity within themselves. There's another story in a Chinese novel where a very idiotic officer ordered a stone monument to be removed. This monument was guarded by monks for generations, and as soon as they removed it, they released 108 demons that were sealed inside. Spiritomb is based off of the stone tape theory as well, which are spirits being trapped inside stones, trees, and other objects. Its Pokedex entry even has the real myth included, and this Pokemon was actually formed by 108 spirits, exactly like the legend. They didn't really make too many changes for this guy, but I still love this Pokemon all the same. Next, we have Dusclops and Dust Noir. Both are based off of the Chochin Obake. This thing is a paper lantern ghost that usually has one eye and a very long tongue. This is actually one of the most harmless mythical creatures on this list, and it usually doesn't inflict physical damage on humans humans unless it's a paper cut. They normally just like to scare humans and laugh about it afterwards. The worst case scenario is if a demon possessed one of them. Then they're dangerous because then they have the intent to kill. Next we have Mischievous, which is based off of a couple disembodied head creatures from Japanese and Indonesian mythology. According to its Pokedex entry, Mischievous loves to scare humans with creepy cries and screams. I would have a heart attack, just letting you know. This is reminiscent to the myth from its original design origin. First we have the Nuke Kubi. Well, I'm so American. 
second. Why do we have to ruin everything? These demons have the ability to remove their heads and allow it to float around freely. Superstitious people are often warned about going outside because sometimes these demons attack people and drink their blood. Another creature is a Lang Suyer, which is a blood-sucking ghost of a woman who died given birth or died while pregnant. Use protection. You will die. They are usually seen as a lady with long black hair or just a female head floating around. She drinks the blood of newborn male babies and eats the female babies. We're baby eater, please, no. Mischievous, don't eat babies, please. Don't do it. Our last two Pokemon are based off of the same creature, which is why I'm pairing them together. It's my video, so I can do whatever I want. God dang it. Finally, we have Milotic and Primarina, both based off of the Siren. Sirens are described to be beautiful women who have magical voices who bind or control those who hear it. Of course, not all of them are evil, but this video is about the slightly scary stories. If they didn't have the appearance of a mermaid or a normal woman, they often were females with bird wings and bodies. If I saw a bird with a woman's head, that would scare me to death, and I'll throw a rock at it. Some stories say that a siren's silence is far worse. In these stories, they have the ability to completely deafen you. How long can you handle being in complete silence? When they do use their voice, most of them are known to lure in their victims so they could drown them. Sirens caused sailors to go missing and they were responsible for many shipwrecks as well. Their favorite hobby is singing to force their victims to sleep and then they eat them while they're dreaming. What's wrong with these stories? Humans came up with all of this. Why are we so dark? Humans are like the most vile and terrifying creatures on this planet. Honestly, it's scarier than anything on this list or any scary movie. Anyway, those are all the Pokemon that we will be covering today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to tell me your dreams and nightmares in the comment section below. Also, follow me on Twitch because we will be doing a 24-hour live stream and a charity stream for the hurricane victims. Here are my social links. Follow me for updates. Join my Discord. There's world domination. Thank you for all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!